it's not loaded, is it? Right. Good evening, WDTV fans. Tonight, quick uh, chat with the boys. Uh, I don't know who's going to be on. A few might be on. Hopefully, Steve will be on, etc., etc. Um, I'm not going to tell them what I'm using. We'll see how long it'll be before I have to tell them what I'm using because this one's pretty dialed in. I'm going to use the Ham International Multi Mode 2. Um, I have used this radio, it does work, but I have no idea what it's like FM wise. I've dialed it into the 37, the standard channel for us and the guys. Um, my noise level seems to be really strange because it says zero. I'm trying to work out on here if there's a button or something that does that because it's maybe that or the the thing don't work or some shit anyway what's this so on the outer ring it's got tx rx and on the inner ring it's got uh rx which is still not changing that signal bar but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've checked it all. I've checked the SWR for this evening. I know everything's kosher, so we were about to see how this goes down. Okay, let's try and look. I think we'll put this on the floor. Because we don't want that happening again, do we? All right, here we go. Right. Watch this space. Back into. Two, two, one. Dave, copy on this one, mate? Dave, Bruce, Stevie, anybody copy on this one? Yeah, you, mate. Yeah, all good, Bruce, are you? Go again. Yeah, just on one of these old radios, that's all. Yeah, good man. Are you all right? I've heard from you for a little while. We thought you'd disappeared. Oh, no, I've just been tired, mate, and busy working and coming home late and sort of getting tea and that, have a bath and go to bed. I haven't been on much lately. It's a really late night, actually. Oh, yeah, what, working, working late, are you talking about, or, like, You've been doing discos and that lately. Oh, no, I haven't done, well, I'm getting ready. I've got all the gear in the front room. I've got a bloke coming tomorrow and he's going to pack test all me lights and me mixers and uh, switch boxes and everything. So I'm, I'm getting ready for, you know, when it does open up. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting everything pack tested and I'll be able to go in the hotels and the pubs and the clubs. Because it will be tested. Ideal, ideal, ideal. So you're getting back on it. Excited then, mate? Yeah, yeah. I've got a few bookings already, like, so... You know, it's sort of all coming in, like, and stuff. So I'm getting ready for that. But a lot depends on when the reopening happens. Agreed, mate. Agreed. A lot's hanging in the balance at the moment, isn't it? been up to then you've been busy <coughs> busy enough busy enough but my boss um runs like a fairground as well so he's off doing a fairground thing and he's given me a couple of weeks off so i've been doing the, the garden for the missus i've dug her a pond and turned over the veg patch ready for a wild garden patch and all sorts i've been up to all sorts been trying to sort my house out do you know what i mean and uh, one of our eldest boys, Alfie, is going to come and render the back wall. So I need to clear all that down and knock off uh, some of the um, chippings and all the rest. Because it's got bloody, um, what's it called? What's that What's that shit that they throw at the walls called? Uh, render. Render, mm. isn't it? Mm. Render chippings. Mm. Um, oh, I forgot what they call it now. Gravel, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically gravel thrown on the side of the bloody 
else in it. That's what we got, and I want it all rendered over so it'll be smooth so I can paint it. Yeah, I do, mate. I do. That'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else on here, or is it just yourself, Dan? I haven't had anybody on. I haven't had anybody on for a few nights, actually. I think they're all a bit like you, Brucey. I think we've all been a bit busy. I've been busy with a house. I know Dave's been busy. I know Steve's been bloody busy. So, hang on. Let's let's see if they're out there. Any of you boys on there? Anybody on side come back? Hello. Uh, we got Steve. Good evening, Steve. How you doing, mate? You're sounding a bit thick on that, whatever you're on, Gary, to me. But I'm on a different radio. I've got that song a little bit down to you, actually. Yeah, you're well and truly down to me. Almost back of the box. Yeah, copy that. Who was that on the side there? Who else broke in there? I, I didn't get that. To me. Who? Steve. Which Steve? Steve's down on signal to me a bit like he's not so strong. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Someone coming over the top of him. Was that you, Dave? Near anybody. Hmm. Yeah, what are you on then, Gary? Because you're not so clear as he was. A um ham. Not a jumbo. Hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, it sounds right, but it's not very sharp, not like the Colt or the other one. Should we try to power it? Alright, let me try a mic a minute. Mic sounds all muffly. Okay. Let's try, uh, let's try, let's try the power mic. It's alright, but it's not so clear, not so sharp. Okay. What about this one? That sounds a bit better. Yeah, that sound better? That sounds better. Yeah, I'll just put a power mic on it. Yeah, that sounds better. That's coming through a bit better. That's what we like, that's what we like. What are you on, the old uh, audio line? The good old faithful. Yeah. I, I can't... <clears throat> yeah, I can't dispute how you sound on that. It, you, it sounds so natural. Mm. It does work well. For just a 40 channel rig, it's, it's amazing, really. The receive on it is spot on. Mm. Mm. Yeah, agreed, 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 agreed. Have we not heard Dave yet? Did you, Dave come back to us there? Because someone was trying to break through there. Put on the side. Hey, I'm back. Um, That's Rick. better. Dave, eh? That's better, Steve. Be about seven, Gary, but you're sounding a little bit wishy-washy, splattery. Um, not quite where it should be. I don't know what you're on, but you don't sound too bright on here. Ah, uh, it probably just needs warming up. That's all. Just needs a bit of warming up. We all need warming up, Steve. Yeah, you get me all on this one. Yeah, you're banging through on yours, fella, no problems. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I well, need to do some video, really, let you hear what it sounds like. Mm. But, um, I've got to wait till Wednesday and I'll have me tripod here then, and I ain't gonna mess about, so I'll set it up and, uh, get some stable footage and not have to juggle microphones and phones and bits and bobs, you know. But, um, yeah, it's, it's there, but it's, it's vibing it. Yeah, yeah, well, you're, you're singing into me. Yeah, there's someone on the side, right? I've heard a, um, voice on there just now, but, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, there is, there's someone there. 
there, boys. Say again, Bruce. There's someone there, but they're miles away from us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got them here. They're coming in about three pounds. Giving me five. Wavering between three and five. Yeah, definitely. I'm starting to make out some audio. Steve, you got any better on that? Yeah, I'm getting bits and pieces. I can't decide whether they're uh, continentals or English coming in. I'm getting a lot of noise with me, you know. It's a bit hard hearing on here. But uh, if I pick up a bit more, I should be able to decipher a bit. But I'm coming in with a lot of hats with them. What are you on, Steve? Old Faithful? Go again. Yeah, they're stronger in here, though. They're coming through quite strong, aren't they? Well, they're coming to me. I'm about the same level Gary's coming through. Don't help trying to give them an honest audio report when they're flattering the roll over and like, like they're doing, you know. And there we go. Yeah, I think they're on AM, Bruce. I just flicked over there and they found where they are. I don't know what nationality, but European, I'd imagine. Got me okay, are you? Am I coming in strong enough, or do you want a bit more? Uh, you're all right, Bruce. I've got you about a seven, Gary, sort of floating around a five. And with all that crap that's on here as well, it's knocking him about a bit. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of crap on the frequency tonight, and it's not so clear. There's been a lot of sideband going on. Last few nights. Yeah, I, I had a listen up here last night and um, was a bit noisy. This one, I don't know, uh, probably on the line 60 where they're transmitting, I'd imagine, but obviously it's flattering across here. Yeah, probably there, Steve, I dare say. Are you okay? You're keeping all right there, mate? I haven't been on much lately. Like I said to Gary, I've been coming home late and, like, you know, trying to get my tea and my bath and that. It's not worth coming on. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, mate. Um, I don't know what Yeah, 
Copy that, Bruce. Copy that. You got me all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the scale there, mate. Off the scale. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm surprised Dave didn't come on. I thought he was going to come on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he might come on in a minute. Come on in later night. He'd be on in a bit, I should think. He spoke to Terry? I speak to him most mornings, early in the morning, I speak to Terry. Spoke to him there this morning, usually about 7 o'clock in the morning. They're coming in well now, whoever that is on side. They're uh, quite strong. Oh, is that my cat squalling? I can hear something squalling. He's coming in quite strong, isn't he? Yeah, so you're still buying radios? You bought loads more radios? No, nothing for a day or two. I've got to get through what I've got here first. You got them all repaired now? You got your colt repaired? The colt isn't finished yet. No, there's something wrong with a VCO on that, so I've got to replace it. All right, yeah. That's got to be done. Yeah, so uh, the Colt's still in the... You're using the... Um, uh, the Jumbo. Um, I've been using the Westland and the CV Master this week, and the High Game. High Game? Westland, yeah, they're good. I've never seen the Westland. I know what a high gain is. Terry's got a high gain. Yeah, I don't know what the other one is. Siva. Let's have a look at those. One's like a Concord 2, isn't it? Like a Ham Master? Yeah. Major? Yeah, it's on my YouTube, dude. You look on my YouTube, they're all on there. The Westland 707 and CB Master, I think, are on the same video. To your YouTube, but I don't know what it is. I'll have oh, to look cheers, it up. Bruce. Um, for some reason, I can't subscribe to YouTube. Because you haven't, I've you haven't get my, uh, signed in. Uh, email sorted out for my password so I can find it, but I'm not subscribed. Yeah. Oh, well, at least you've got plenty of rigs there and you can try them all out and buy new rigs and that. I should be picking up my uh, Cobras this weekend. That'd be good. I had a phone call from Brian, he said they're all done. So Excellent. I'll be picking them up. And he's doing my Midland and my uh, Jumbos at the moment. And uh, my Excalibur, he's fixing them up. That'd be good. Be good to hear you on them. Yeah, they haven't worked for a long time. You won't know yourself once you get all them back. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm looking forward to getting the Cobras and trying them out. They'd be absolutely spot on. What are they, 148s? They're 148. Uh, Superstar 360, is it, or 390? I've got two of those. <coughs> Four Cobras, <laughs> and what's that 
one is, yeah, 3960 or something. Oh, I can't remember now. It's been a long time since I've seen them. How long's he had them? A few weeks. Must have had them about three weeks. Months, maybe. So I said to him, I said, there's no hurry, you know, do your gardening and mm -hmm. take your time. I said, I'm in no hurry for them at all, like. And he phoned me up and he said, they're all done. That's what you want to hear. I love that phone call. I thought, ah, oh, they're done. So, you'll be on some, some fancy radios. You're going to be on radios all weekend, and then? I got my uh, Superstar 360. It's got, like, uh, six switches on the back. It goes down to triple low and triple high. That's a hell of a rig, that one. Really good rig. Um, and he's done that one as well, so I'm looking forward to trying that one. What was wrong with them then? Just off frequency, not, you know, spot on. They was working, but it wasn't, you know, they weren't on frequency properly. They needed setting up and realigning. Damn, don't bite. <laughs> Bloody cat. I think it's a dog. Yeah, so uh, you've been busy doing the garden then, sorting all the garden out. Getting all that done. I see uh, your missus put up some pictures of your plants and flowers and that. Looking really nice. Yeah, you haven't seen it lately. Like, you have to pop over and can have a snoop at the shack and have a snoop at the garden. But yeah, I put a pond in and all sorts now with a little waterfall and all. You know, I went, I went all garden as well on it. She made me sit there and watch two episodes of Garden as well, and they were making a pond, and I was like, I could fucking do that tomorrow. Boom. Two hours later on the mo uh, this morning, uh, yesterday morning, yeah, yesterday morning, two hours later, pond, dug, done. Loving life. Then I dug a fire pit, set a fire, sat there last night till 11 o'clock in the pissing rain, next to the fire in my pond. Loving life. A pond. In there. No, not yet. I've got a newt and I've got a frog so far. And that's only in a day, mate. That's alright, ideal. So, stop biting. Yes, so, uh, <laughs> oh well, I bet it's looking good. This is cat food. Looking lovely. What's the cat called? Sam? Sugar Alpha Mike. Sam. 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 Yeah, sugar, yeah. Ideal. I don't think I've ever met your cat. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. Did he just... well, when he's hungry, he lets you know. He either meow, 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 or you sit there and he just bite your bloody arm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Steve's there. Steve's there. Dave, are you there? Roger, you on side? <laughs> Steve? <laughs> and you're on Old Faithful, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to get some bloody headache because they're giving you some stick. Blimey, what's going on? Yeah, they're coming stronger than you and Bruce there, knocking everyone apart. You're doing all right. You're, you're singing into me. Yeah, suck it to him, Steve. Any you can do it at the moment. I'm running straight power. Right, what, what rig are you on, Gary? Now I can hear you a bit better. 
Multi mode two. Which one did you like the best? You liked the Westland, didn't you, on FM Best? Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's the best sounding one of the bunch so far. Well, Stalker ain't got FM, but he's good on side fan. Yeah, they give me nearly plus 40 on here. These Continentals. They're probably on 960, I'd imagine. They were on AM, but they come on the FM now. So where are they? They're just just below us, yeah. They'll be, they'll be twenty-seven nine six zero, I believe. They were on AM, but they're on FM. You sound a lot better. We're all coming in better now because we haven't got that bloody sideband coming in. Better now because you're not competing with them, you see. But they was, you know, it's like when there's skip rising and lowering and up and down all over the place, and it was a lot stronger than you at one point there. And that's all I could hear, bloody. I could hear you underneath, and then you was competing with them, and it was just bloody mayhem, you know, just squawking and noises. Right, so am I sounding better now on this one, am I? Yeah, I've heard, it, I've heard you better, but it's better than it was when you was competing with the others. Um, signal's all right. Um, about the same as the, um, da, 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 the other ones the other night. Signal-wise, about the same. You're just over the nine. And... The audio is a little bit muffly. I wouldn't they, say it's They bad, always say that about the hands. It's not so clear as the audio on the other one. Yeah, nobody's a fan of the audio on a Ham International, I've noticed. Uh, well, yeah, that's about that's That's the way they are, mate, unfortunately. Well, they can sound good if they're tweaked up. I was listening to a guy in Spain. Oh, I got him five and he sounded better than what this Kenwood does. But he did them audio modifications to it to get it to sound that good mm. internally. Mm -hmm. With the audio limiter settings and everything, and I'm not kidding you, that sounded as good as this thing does. But it was really loud, you know. So, it's like I say, the, the radios have got the capabilities, but mm. out of the factory, they're, well, they're like they are, you know. They're nothing special. They're radios. <laughs> Yeah, they're just radios out the factory, aren't they? So what are you talking about? Opening up the deviation on the high gain? No, he, 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 he was on SSB with it. Right. He was bang on frequency and he was sounding as clear as what this thing sounds like. 
done as good as anything that was on on site band that day. He sounded really good, but he was loud. He was really loud, but I, I don't know what mods he actually done. He was describing some of it to the guy he was talking to. I was sort of listening on the side, and uh, he'd been playing around with the limiter. Um, the limiter for the sideband balancing and all that in there, which is a bit, a bit technical there, if you don't know what you're doing, you can make a mess of things, but it got that one singing along, that was really good. That's like I said before, if, if they're set up right, they can sound all right, but 99% of them, you switch them to SSB and they sound like a bag of nails, basically. Agreed, 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 agreed. Yeah, I, everything I got is going to end up getting serviced. I mean, I, I need to thin out the flock a, real, a little bit, really. But, yeah, yeah, everything will get serviced. I just want to know it all works. And you sound amazing. <coughs> Bruce is blowing my freaking windows out as normal. Uh, go again, Stephen. I'll give you a, a, a signal there. I didn't look at your signal because you just sound like you. Yeah, okay, mate, yeah. There you go, seven. I'm away from the mic now, just talking normal. But it don't, it's not really make much difference on FM, but there we are. Um, yeah, the, the, the radios are capable, but they need to be set up with someone who knows what they're doing, because... Yep. And I I've do never, not. That's why I do not I've put never heard... <laughs> well, any um, international or <clears throat> jumbo that sounds any good, apart from one jumbo, and that was sorted out by the guy Bruce has got his rigs done by. Mm -hmm. And that sounded as good as anything I've ever heard in the amateur radio or be it a CB. It was sounding in that bloody good um, after he'd done the work on it. Because we may have brought one, give it to the said party that's doing Bruce's rigs. And he came back with it, and I, I couldn't believe what he was on when he told me what it was. I thought he was on one of his amateur rigs. It sounded that good. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, like I say, um, I'm waiting for my Colt to come back. My, um, yeah, I'm waiting for that to come back. I think you'll all be surprised when that comes back. That's going to be a brand new fucking radio. That's going to sound a lot better a lot different than it did and I know that you gave me good reports on that but I think you'd be surprised on that one yeah yeah I'll tell you what um, I do need to do we need to get I've dad's got galaxy got in here don't we I know we tried it but quite a while ago now wasn't it but, um, hmm. yeah like I say once they're set up right hmm. the trouble is with them out the box from the factory they're not they don't even line up on receive and transmit because you've got no control over it because mm -hmm. they're all the clarifiers on receive only mm -hmm. and obviously at the minute they're transmitting miles away from where you're receiving that's why you couldn't align if you tuned to me you was off to if you tuned to receive to receive me on frequency you was transmitting off so they're not aligned up they're quite a way off actually but that's, that's the common fault with them you know, um, loads of them are like that, and then because they do that, people get brave and dive in there, and they, nine times out of ten, they just make them worse. And that's why there's so many on the air that sound like crap, basically. But the um, the uh, Westland isn't too bad. It's not 100 percent, but it's probably about the best. Um, the high game 5 is quite a lot of stray the yeah. CB master is how they all are not lining up they just want the lining lining the transmit with the receive because obviously you're tuned to hear someone clear but you're transmitting quite a bit away again you see so that's no good to the band of peace really I mean I if it was just two of us on, I could chain you in on here. Yeah, but you wouldn't have rods. So I could hear you bang on, but I'd probably be a couple of hertz astray anyway. 
Yeah, but because it's got a cl- I've got um, two clarifiers on it. Yeah, it's like like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it all back lined up again, be good. Yeah, copy that. Right, I've, we've hogged it enough. Go back to Bruce down a minute. Should we put the Westland on? the mic gain, if the mic gain's too high, if I wind the mic gain too high, then it gives me too much feedback. with talk back on it. If you watch the video on YouTube, literally I hear myself talking and the Roger bleep, which I can turn off. Shall I turn it off? There we go. It sounds like a Sideband, but on FM that one. 
one. Um, has got the best audio so far out, out the new ones we've heard on, on Fox Mike anyway. It's uh, cracking in here. It really is coming in strong and loud and clear. Is the signal gone up to you, Steve? Um, oh, hang on, let me put my glasses on a minute. <laughs> So what power? It's a good, good 20 over. Ooh, this, okay. uh, we won't say on what the power this one's putting out. I'll okay. say the, the 79 will give me 60 over. And uh, Straight radio, this one is 20 over. So Someone's played with this previously, obviously. But I'm starting to like this. As a, as a 79 is. Did I say 69? I think I did. I meant 79. You knew what I meant anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I was imagine he's doing about 10 watts, I'd imagine. I don't know. You got you got the meter in line? What's he doing? About 12 watts? <laughs> I don't know if I want to say. Alright. <laughs> that much is it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's played with this, Steve. Say that again, Bruce. That's 30 on the free row with the arms going right back to zero. Oh dear. So yeah, it's like you've got a burner in line. No. No burner in line, straight through to the antenna. No burner, nothing, mate. Fucking well. Sounding brilliant. This is a nice radio. I've pretty, I've, I've fallen in love with this radio a little bit. I like the way it looks. It sounds amazing. You lot sound amazing. Steve, you see the video. Honestly, you sound amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought when I watched it the other night. You better, better send it to Bruce Gary. or give him directions to it, because he'll like that when he sees it. Yeah, when I edit this one, Bruce, I'll send it to you, the coffee. Yeah, send me the link to your uh, uh, YouTube and I'll find it there. Yeah, I do, mate. Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds good. Do you know what I like about it? It's got the talkback on it and it sounds very, like, American and you go, and at the end you can go, come on. <laughs> the talkback. Yeah. No, it's where, when I key the mic, I can hear what I'm transmitting. Right. You can actually hear what you're saying. Yeah. With the echo and the Roger bleep at the end. No idea. No idea. It does sound good. That's 100% better than the rig you was on earlier. Yeah, well, the, the rig I was on earlier was a, um... Ham International Multi Mode 2. Yeah, that's a good rig, normally, but he didn't sound right. They're all second hand rigs that have been in a cupboard for a long time, so, you know, they all need fettling. But this Westland is brand new out the box. I mean, I literally undone the cellophane. He sounds good. He does sound good. I'm with Steve on that. He does sound good. I can get you one of these, you know. You can add one to your collection. I can get you one of these. Yeah, yeah it sounds good. So at the moment, I'm getting all mine repaired. <laughs> and then uh, I'll, I'll see. I may not buy no more. I'm quite happy with what I got, really. Mm. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I wouldn't mind to get a, a Westland or Lafayette. That would be nice to get one of them. 
I can get you a Lafayette, I can get you a Westland, and I can get you a CB Master. Any of those radios. And I can get you an AFS 1105. Is it one? No, yeah, one, yeah, 1005 or something like that Lafayette thing. Um, looks like a, um, a Cybernet 3000, that sort of looking type of radio, you know what I mean? Cybernet radio, Beta Cybernet mm -hmm. is a bloody good radio because they're Cybernet. They're a really good radio, actually. Yeah, well, it looks like one of them. But it's a Lafayette AFS. I think it's an AFS. So that's Alpha Foxtrot Sierra. Ideal, mate. Ideal. Ideal. And they're not big money either, Bruce. They're not expensive. I'll have a look when I come over. Or you have to send me the link. I'm not exactly sure which radio that is. But I know the Cybernet rigs are good, very good. Yeah, I've got a Cybernet 1000 here, beta thing. No, I bet that works well. Never tried it. Never freaking tried it. Never tried it. I've got such a pile of radios here to get through. I've never tried it. I've been buying loads more, have you? No, it just came in a job lot. Of other radios. <laughs> um, I haven't bought any radios for a little while actually because I'm still working through what I've got. That sounds nice, that radio. I'm with Steve on that. That does sound nice. Do you like this one, do you? I like it. It's clear. Very clear. Where's the light stop modulation. The li is there any I think there's a dry joint though on the pixie lights at the bottom, Steve, because you have to tap the top of the radio to get them to work. Yeah, I noticed the lights dimmed out right? on the video there, but uh, it comes back again, doesn't it? I think I'm getting some splatter from somewhere, and then it comes and goes, and uh, oh, some cool. locals dropped on here and moved on again when they heard you transmitting. They was quite strong as well. I don't know who they were. I didn't recognise the voices. But it was definitely within the county, put it that way. But yeah, that sounds good, Gary. Uh, give me the SP on one of them, a box one. I didn't know it got more. Yeah, um, put it this way. It's going to cost you 20 notes more than the 7900 you sold me. Someone like that, Steve. Uh, are they new old stock? Are they, or are they? They're not. They're not brand new. Are they? They're new old stock, aren't they? I think. Yeah, new old stock. But every one that's in the box is sealed. The box has never been opened, dude. It'll have the straps on it, the original pins in it that they stapled the box down with. The fucking works. All the original manuals. You will be the first human being after the factory to touch that radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that ain't so bad then, really. Not too bad. All right, I'll have a think on that. I'll get back to They're all similar prices, Steve. They're not ridiculous money. The only ones that are ridiculous money at the moment are the Lafayettes. Because they're fucking hard to get hold of. Yeah, you'll have to send me some info on that, and I'll look it up. I'll have a look online and see what, what we're dealing with, because I, I, can't, I can't get it in my head what it's like, actually. You got a pen? Um, hang on a minute. Let's put the lock on here a minute. Let me have a rummage. What? Uh, I've got my pad here. Where's my pen in? No, I don't know why. See, hang on, I'll grab one, mate. Just give us a sec. I'm telling you now, oh, this oh, Westland. I like this Westland. They all like this Westland. I can, I can get you a Westland. You want a Westland? Talk to me. Uh, <laughs> okay, mate, give us the um, 
the Lafayette number. Oh, I, <coughs> I think it's Alpha Foxtrot Sierra one zero zero five. Over. <coughs> Sierra one zero zero five over Relay my last over Alpha Fox Drop Sierra one zero zero five Copy copy Me dad, I had an SS off me dad. Oh, right, yeah, that's the one, yeah, superstar. Yeah, I thought it was Lafayette for some reason. <laughs> if I could yeah, get all of the Lafayette, if you've got a Lafayette 1200 for sale, you message me now. Do you hear that? If you have a Lafayette 1200 for sale, you message me now. I will trade you any radio, any radio. What's wrong with my cult? To Too much so going on, but we'll have it sorted. That one's a damn we? good sort out, but the Westland in standard format is uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, I've got to say, the receive is freaking awesome. Awesome. And I, I know Bruce personally, and I know you personally, like I always say, the audio is crystal. You both sound absolutely crystal on here. <laughs> standard and the mic gain is about uh where's it at mic gain's at about mm, quarter past oh right so it's not not all the way up then yeah that's good that's good like i say it's not feeding back anymore if it's too high it obviously picks up from the talk back there but uh, it's so clean and natural whereas the other one was Yeah, the talk back that he gives me, it sounds nice, and I hope that the the output's the same, you know, and I hope that the echo isn't too too annoying, because I was going to try and get some switches put in the back of it for the talk back and the echo, but I quite like it. <laughs> the echo's good, it's not overdone, and it's not too much, it's just how it should be, I think. It's been set up nice. Yeah, someone knew what they're doing. But the, the fellow I bought it off said it's got talk back and echo on it and I don't bloody like it. And I, I like it. I really freaking like it. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, right, can you, can you remember that SATCOM scan home base radio I posted? Yeah. From years gone by, a photo of one, and Bruce said he'd never seen one before, and I said they're normally on mid-band. Yeah. There's a guy on eBay that does the mods to those, and he's got.
got one on there now that's been modded for the UK board, like the one I had, because originally they're, they're a mid-band radio only. And he's a guy who done the mods on them. And he's left this one as a standard uh, UK 40, which the one I had was. And it was a cracking bloody radio, that thing. And it's made by SATCOM, is a um, satellite um, company that made them. I was under the impression they were Cybernet boarded, but they ain't there and want a standalone um, bit of kit. But hell of a good radio. And there's one on eBay at the minute with that mod in, so it's a UK 40 and not, not the mid band. So. Nice. That would be an interesting one to add to the collection, but I know I found out that the guy who's selling it is the guy who done the, mid, the the original modification for that radio. So he's probably, possibly, would have a few more up at a later date. Some sort of money is it? Let's not leave Brucey out. Let's not leave Brucey out. Send me um, a link to that. Yeah, send me a link to that on eBay. <laughs> You're a pain in the ass. Go back to Brucey. <laughs> what that bloody roughy uh, app looks like. I've done finished recording here. I tell you what we haven't tried on here yet, Steve, is the uh, Galaxy that we picked up. I know my dad spoke to Sweden on it and Norway and all sorts, but we haven't had it on the channel. We haven't had any feedback on that one. I might have to try and get that one on next. Well, I did wonder if your dad had got it up at his. Yeah, he has. He has. <laughs> since it arrived I gave it straight to him I didn't even turn it on um, and he's had good reports on it he's pretty much spoken to most of Europe on it I did mention to him the other day that I wanted to use it on the channel and he was like yeah just let me know so 
I might try and grab that in the next couple of days and get a good report off that, see what it's like all over the place, eh? Yeah, I'd imagine it won't be far away. It might be a little bit stray from cold. But um, they're generally pretty good. Um, tell you what will be interesting, that little, um, that little scan FM set. Mm. I've got a feeling it's on, it'll be on the mid-band, Gary. I may be completely wrong. I tried to look at it in the pictures and I couldn't see where it's got a 2781 stamp on it or not. i got a feeling it's a mid-band rig, I'm not sure. Well, I could be wrong on that one. There was another another radio around that looked very similar to that and I'm sure that was a mid-band thing as well. But I might be completely wrong, but the bit on the video, you need you're not, you're not really zoomed right in to see what was on it, but I got a feeling it, it'll be a mid block one. It says SEPT PR 27NL over. Yeah, be mid block then. Be mid band FM then. Doesn't. Well, may have AM as well. Doesn't transmit anyway, It'll Steve. be a mid band radio with SEPT written on it. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't transmit anyway, it needs looking at, but. Um, I'm going to be really controversial and say I might just convert that anyway. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to get it running and make it an 80 channel. Put an FM, um, UK FM in it. If it can be done. But the only real use it's got at the minute is chasing Germans on... FM on mid-band, really, because they're about the only ones that, that <laughs> I've heard them on it. <laughs> to any fashion. Unless we start having an FM mid-block net and we use it on that. <laughs> Why the fuck not? <laughs> well, that's it, you know. I mean, I used to spend a lot of time on the mid-band on FM when I, years ago, we'd always be on FM on mid-block when we first got it over here. And you could get some bloody good contacts, but at the minute it's full of Europeans um, on the Fox Mike side of things, but... Who cares? It could be full of English as well. Might be worth having a go one night. We'll drop down on mid-band and go mid-band FM. Every, all of us can get there, can't we? I don't know what that means, but yes, I'm sure we can. What's that, the band? No, there used to be a lot of, lot of action on mid-band years ago. Yeah. I mean, I used to run on it quite a lot. And when we just used to go and sit on the hills, we used to DX on the mid-block, on FM. That was good fun. But you flick through mid-band. Nowadays, there's not that much activity, only like Continentals on it. Now and again. Um, well, obviously, a bit of sideband activity now that we've got it. There's a bit of that going on, but it's mainly Europeans on FM now, and they generally call in on the side. If we if we was running the net on there, mm. of an evening on the mid block on Fox Mike, and guarantee this time of year Germany be calling in every five minutes, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I've had it on, and I have heard foreign, foreign, I don't want to say foreigners, but yeah, I've heard foreigners on it, because they were Germans. Yeah, I've heard Germans on it, but they couldn't hear me every time a TX did, did nothing. It wasn't putting out any signal or nothing. It wasn't putting out anything at all. Oh, right, yeah, probably wants new output transistor in it. Bit of tweaky-tweaking. Yeah. You, you tried that um, Viking, yeah? Yeah, that's the same. Um, it does put out signal, but I don't know where it is. I think that's mid-block two. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll probably be mid-band and high-band, I'd imagine. AM and FM, I believe. Not 100% certain. But there we go. But no, I used to 
Strawberry, um, a Harvard 420 m which is a Cybernet boarded UK 40 rig. I had the mid block fitted in that one, as well as the UK 40, and I used to run that oh, all day long at work because I had it set up in a tractor at work. Hmm. I bloody spoke all over the world on that thing on, the, on FM. Yeah, that's the way. I See, I wouldn't mind having a tractor now, some tractor work up and down the field with a rig on all day. It's an excuse to listen all day. Trouble is, life's too freaking busy, isn't it, Bruce? I'm saying, we ain't got time to sit around and listen to the radio anymore, like Steve's saying. Back in the day, you could just sit in a fucking tractor and listen to it all day. Speak to a bloke. He's called Edge Trimmer. <laughs> and he used to, like, cut loads and loads of hedges. Hence the name Hedge Trimmer. And he'd be on all bloody day, he would. I'd be speaking to him, like, <laughs> Edge Trimmer. Yeah, and his tractor. No. <laughs> Right, well, I'm going for a while so to grab a beer. Um, take it back to Steve. Okay then, mate, no worries. Hey, did you have a copy in there, Steve? Edge trimmer. <coughs> wow, that was a long video. But, you know, we went through the Hamilton National Motor Mode 2. Let's get it off the floor. <clears throat> went through this didn't get the best reports on that but then they did say it was better once the skipper pissed off so there it is but the Westland is just a good radio really really good radio excuse me and I can get I can get other I can get you a Westland and I'm not trying this is not me trying to hock stuff this is like if you want a nice radio then I can get you a nice radio so that's it, you know, I'm not going to make any money, I'm just going to literally pass on radios, that's all I want to do. Alright, so look, thanks for tuning in, this is uh, WDTV, we had Steve and Bruce, haven't heard Brucey? Brucey, good to hear you mate, it's always nice to hear Brucey. Um, no Dave tonight, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to Dave, but never mind, things happen, shit goes down. Uh, much love to you all. Um, Everybody's commented before. Brilliant. Don't forget don't forget the channel. So we got Kate. Yeah, we got Steve. His channel is two six Char uh, Charlie Bravo eight eight. I think that's his channel name. I think that's it. If I'm wrong, I'm very sorry, Steve. I will try and put a picture here somewhere of Steve's thing. Um, we've got uh, Delta X Ray four 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 banging. Always check him out. We've got Moa Junkie. He doesn't need a shout out. We've got three. Uh, is it three nine zero over there in the states? I can't remember your whole fucking channel. I should write this down. Is it three zero not three nine zero wagon or whatever, mate? You always comment, dude. I know you love my radios. I love your radios too. I know you're on AM. Are you on AM? I can't. Anyway, you know, mind blown. Um, the Westland becoming my favorite radio at the moment my colt's gone for a rebuild so not a re basically a rebuild because like i said dad is it's like it's like a classic car you know once you start peeling off the body work you realize how much damage is underneath all the filler so uh thanks for tuning in please subscribe if you like what you see here go and check out the rest of my videos you know, I've got 40 channel stuff there. I will be getting back to some 40 channel stuff. I'm just trying to get through the, like you've heard me say in the video, get through this pile of radios and then we'll get back to some standard UK stuff. Don't forget the winter's going to roll around quick and we're all going to be back on to local DX work. There will be no skip and everybody's forgetting that at the moment because they're thinking life's good. I'm talking to wherever. I'm talking to Brazil. I'm talking to this. I'm talking to that. But in a minute, Everybody's going to be back on the Fox mic. All going to be local DX work. Those four grand radios are going to be for talking to John down the road. All right? So, 
as much as I love the DX, I love the skip work, I love, you know, I'd love to talk to Brazil and all the bollocks. I ain't got time to sit around and wait, <laughs> basically, I just haven't. So this is this is how it is. I'm all glad that you're tuned in. So peace, simply freeze, and bosh. I will see you next day or so. Much love.